Hey YouTube, it's ICU and welcome to the 192nd episode of Best Tech Info and Rumors. Alright, to start off I want to talk about something that pertains to the future of all mobile devices, but first, to give some background information, so graphite is a form of carbon, the fourth most abundant element in the universe that comprises every known living organism that the majority of people are familiar with. It's even used to create a common writing utensil the pencil. However, graphene, a pure form of carbon, is significantly less well known. Yet it could become the driving force behind the next race for mobile device innovation. And with that said, at this point you may be asking yourself, well what exactly is graphene? So essentially it's a very thin, nigh transparent sheet of carbon that's merely one atom thick. In spite of its thin nature though, graphene can be used to conduct electricity, which has the potential to significantly shrink various components as it's now the most conductive material that will be used for consumer applications. Furthermore, when applied to flexible glass-like materials, potentially something like Gorilla Glass's Willow Glass, said materials will retain their flexibility, unlike existing touchscreen coating methods. So while that sounds great, what exactly does it mean in layman's terms? So device manufacturers, namely Apple in this instance, have the potential to utilize graphene to not only reduce the footprint of various internal components, but also to create see-through and flexible touchscreens for mobile devices if they can conquer the issue of mass producing the material. And unsurprisingly, Apple has maintained a rather stealth profile during their research of the practical applications of graphene for devices. Additionally, mentions of graphene in the company's publicly available arsenal of patents are scarce. However, as suggested by Bloomberg, it's likely that Apple is, at the very least, looking into the use of graphene for future products. So how great would it be to have not only see-through, but also flexible iOS-based devices? And considering it looks like Apple is just in the beginning phases of testing this material, it's unlikely we'll see its implementation in something like the iPhone 6, and it's more likely that it will be a gradual rollout than anything too drastic again, such as a complete jump from a current iOS device to something with a see-through or again a flexible display. Now, I want to talk about jailbreaking. So last week there was some new information regarding Pod2G and his possible work on the creation of a new untethered jailbreak utility for iOS 7.1 and 7.1.x. If you want more information on that, just be sure to check out last week's episode. I'll have a link to that below. And following that, a new poll was conducted on jailbreak evasion info, essentially asking readers if they'd prefer the evaders and Pod2G to release an untethered jailbreak for iOS 7.1 or save the exploits to jailbreak future devices and firmwares again like the iPhone 6 and iOS 8. And of course, I'll have that poll link to below if you want to see the results. But now, referencing another article from Jailbreak Evasion Info, new developments may suggest that Pod2G will have to fight for the glory of jailbreaking 7.1.x, as a new competitor may very well have stepped into the metaphorical jailbreak arena. So recently, Posix Ninja, quantum leader of the once-renowned Chronic Dev team, sent a tweet out that the majority of his followers have interpreted it as the hacker's unofficial confirmation of the potential development of an iOS 7.1.1 7.1.1 jailbreak utility. So Posix Ninja's tweet in question, which is embedded on the post that I have a link to below, could easily be construed as a sort of teaser tweet for what the hacker has planned. After all, last year, Posix Ninja suggested numerous times that he was working on creating a boot ROM based jailbreak utility that could function on newer iPhone, iPad, and iPod touch models. So if a new boot ROM based jailbreak was truly released, that would be absolutely great for the jailbreak community, because although it would mean a tethered jailbreak utility, it would, like GeoHot's 2010 LimeRain exploit for A4 based devices, which still functions to date and is the sole reason behind new iPhone 4 exclusive 7.1.1 jailbreak utilities like Geeks. Now, a new boot ROM exploit would allow for the creation of jailbreak utilities on essentially every firmware. Due to the fact that boot ROM based jailbreaks exploit hardware and not software vulnerabilities, they're impossible for Apple to patch aside from the impractical release of new hardware. However, before reading too much into POSIX Ninja's initial and subsequent tweets, the hacker has been known to quote, troll jailbreakers, and it's possible that nothing imminent will come from POSIX Ninja's latest tease. That being said, it's entirely possible that the hacker is at the very least dabbling
dabbling in iOS security and exploit research based on various oddities and interesting tweets on his Twitter account's timeline. Now again, if you missed last week's episode, just be sure to watch that because I also discussed the possibility of an untethered 7.1.1 jailbreak utility. However, as I've been saying, it would be more practical for the evaders, POSIX Ninja, and POD2G to wait until Apple releases both iOS 8 and newer iDevices before pushing out the next untethered jailbreak because that way they can ensure that it supports not only the latest hardware, but also the latest software. Now, currently there is a method available to jailbreak 7.1.1. However, it's exclusive to the iPhone 4 because again, it utilizes a boot ROM based vulnerability. The one that I mentioned previously, GeoHot's 2010 Lime Rain exploit. So again, if you have yet to jailbreak on your iPhone 4, just be sure to check out the tutorial. I'll have a link to below. And the developer of Geek Snow, Black Geek Tutorial, is actually planning on pushing out an updated version of Geek Snow. So just be sure to stay tuned for that, as well as full coverage on the development of a new untethered jailbreak utility. Of course, I'll be sure to post update videos along the way and new tutorial videos once actual utilities are made available. So just be sure to stay tuned to my channel again for absolute complete coverage on jailbreaking. And now moving on, an image of what's allegedly an industrial prototype of the rear casing for Apple's rumored upcoming larger 12.9 inch iPad was leaked on a Chinese microblogging site and in turn was picked up by a vast majority of Apple news and rumor sites. Now previously, there have been reports suggesting Apple will release a larger iPad, dubbed the iPad Pro, to complete their tablet lineup with the smaller 7.9 inch iPad mini, the original 9.7 inch iPad, now dubbed the Air, and again, a 12.9 inch variant. So what are your thoughts on a larger iPad? Should Apple release one? Let me know in the comments section. And now next, in a spy shot of sorts, LA Lakers NBA player Kobe Bryant was seen recently at Apple's Infinity Loop campus in Cupertino, California, for what's said to have been a meeting between the player and Apple's head of software and hardware design. Jonathan Ive. Now, without reading too much into this story, it's certainly possible that the primary topic of discussion at the alleged meeting was related to numerous rumors surrounding Apple's supposed break into the health and fitness market. And in light of that, it's also possible that the long awaited and highly anticipated iWatch came up. All right, before I conclude, I just wanted to officially announce in Best Tech and Phone Rumors that my recent giveaway of the OS Experience iPad jailbreak tweak has concluded, so I actually listed the winners in a comment on my video where I highlighted the OS experience multitasking and multi-window app tweak. So just be sure to check it out, and if you are one of the winners, you can install OS experience simply by searching for and downloading it inside of Cydia. Also, the PlayStation 4 giveaway is nearly finished. This will be one of your last chances to gain entries, and to do so in this video, just be sure to rate it up, leave a relevant comment down below in the comment section, and visit my video on free app life to gain entries. Now, if you're outside of the US, and you want to gain entries, just be sure to post your referral code down below in the comment section. And hopefully one of my other viewers who maybe has an extra iOS device will sign up using your referral code. So if you're in the US and you have an extra device that doesn't have free app life downloaded yet, it would be awesome if you could look through the comments of this video and add any referral codes of people outside of the US. And of course, stay tuned to my Facebook page and Twitter account for more announcements regarding the PlayStation 4 giveaway. If you're interested in earning paid iOS apps from Apple's App Store for free legally while simultaneously supporting the developers of said applications, just be sure to visit freeapplife.com or bit.ly forward slash get free app life inside of Safari. Once downloaded, install sponsored apps for points and then redeem said points for various prizes, again, such as paid application codes on Apple's App Store, gift cards, and electronic devices. And if you don't know what to leave in the comment section, try answering the question of the day. This time around, I'm going to make it related to both the iPad Pro and Graphene. So again, would you be interested in a larger iPad? And what are your thoughts on Graphene? Would you be interested in them creating thinner, see-through, or foldable devices, maybe a combination of all three, or something else entirely Again, just be sure to let me know down below in the comment section or on Jailbreak Tech Info. And if you guys want to be updated more often, again, just be sure to like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, add me on your circles inside of Google Plus, and follow me on Instagram at ICUID. Of course, I will have complete coverage on things like the next untethered jailbreak, iOS 8, the iPhone 6, Apple's potential use of graphene in future products, the iPad Pro, and the long-rumored iWatch. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.